upward investment. How some brands of job creation can... Game time here on BBC One, and you know the words. It's only a game. Big break, buddy. Do I look a bit put out to you? Eh? Because we've had strict orders from our new boss lady, her upstairs, Dominant Doris. Yes. <laughs> Do yes. Have you not heard of Dominant Doris? A big butch woman with a face. <laughs> Bernard. <laughs> She's told us we've got to stop mucking about on the show. Well, that's all right for me. I know how to behave myself. <laughs> Well, I do now, but it's the snooker players. It ain't me, it's the snooker players. Jimmy White was here the other week. Jimmy White, don't give me, you know, Jimmy. <laughs> so much to drink after the show. He was legless, boys. <laughs> they found his suit hanging up in my wardrobe. <laughs> with Jimmy White still in it. <laughs> and that's Virgo. You can't take him anywhere. Well, anyway, he's here. Anyway, he's sort of, well, it, <laughs> naughty boy. <laughs> JV. <laughs> Can't be bad no more, mate. We've had a... We've got to behave ourselves tonight. That's me finished. Yes. <laughs> Suppose it was Dominant Doris, eh? Yeah. Gave me a right rollicking this morning. Yeah, did you give her a nasty look? No, she's already got one. <laughs> it's not me and you, anyway. It's, it's these famous snooker players. players that they've booked. It's not terrible. Us. No, it's, it's not us. With terrible us. people. Look at that Steve Davis. You know, he did it rehearsals the other day, ladies and gentlemen. Took all his clothes off and played his opponent in the nude just for a laugh. <laughs> Stephen Henry wasn't amused. No, he wasn't. Cured his hiccups, though, did he? <laughs> Remember that old joke? We're cleaning them up by the minute. Look, there's been no mucking around tonight, all right? From now on, snooker players are going to take this show seriously. Do you know what the problem is, John? They don't... Do you know what they... They treat this like rubbish. No respect. I agree, Jim. This is a shrine. The you can't mess around on the snooker table. It's a shrine. This is not a snooker table. This, this is a shrine. Look at this, Beautiful the craftsmen that make this, the slate, the wood. I mean, world champions are made on table like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> My service, 17 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jim. Hello, Jim. How are you? Fine, thank you. I wonder why the Koreans and Japanese are so good at ping pong. I don't know. No. Oh. Manchester United. So good at football. Yes. <laughs> hey, where are you from, Tim? Cornwall. Oh, you're from Cornwall. Cornwall. Well, that's absolutely <laughs> What do you do with yourself down there in Cornwall? I'm a carpenter. Carpenter? Yep. Self-employed? Yep. What type of things do you carve? Um, mainly furniture. Oh, you make pine, furniture? Yeah, pine things. Yeah? You export that abroad, do you? No, not that sort of... No. No? <laughs> no. I wish I right. could. That's the game, isn't it? Eh? Yes, well, definitely. now we're in the European community. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> I can't see the point of them. That tunnel. Can you imagine the speed the French will run down it when the Germans invade them again? <laughs> there you go, Tim. Stick your hand in there, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> a blue ball. A blue ball is a young man making his debut here on Big Break. Would you please give a warm welcome to Pakistan's number one player, Shulkat. Yes. There we are. This could be your export business into <laughs> Pakistan. <laughs> yeah. Give me a card. How are you, mate? All right, thanks. First time on Big Break? Yeah. Looking forward to it? Definitely. Good to see you. There we yeah. are. Blue team. Welcome. Hi. Michelle. Yep. How are you? Fine, thank you. Very sort of lime green. Thanks. <laughs> yes, what do you do with yourself, Michelle? I'm a student. What are you studying? Uh, English and drama. Mm. So you want to be an actress? No, I want to teach English and drama. When oh, I you finish. want to teach English and yeah, drama? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> married? Uh, yes, yeah. Children? No. How long have you been married? Uh, five years. Well, you've got to stop reading and <laughs> doing drama. <laughs> Blimey. Where are you from, Michelle? Sheffield. 
They say there's four girls for every man in Sheffield. <laughs> he don't reckon there is. When he was up there, there must have been someone walking around with eight. <laughs> there you go. A yellow ball, John. Well, they say there's not as many characters in the game. It's losing its colour. Yes. This young man's a character, Lee Richardson! Lee Richardson! Yes, and you've made a rapping record, haven't you? A we've done a little CD bit. All about. See, if you ever get to go and see this guy live, folks, you're in for a treat because he is the rapper of the snooker table. Now, uh, the other team, give him a clap. Thanks. Oh, well, John. How are you doing? Good to see you. Ah, Christoph, you must be deaf. That's right. Yeah, I'm well spotted, eh? <laughs> Whenever there's John, there's some deaf people. He's very good at doing all that sign language. By the way, how are you? Fine, Good. thank you. Where are you from, Christoph? From Wandsworth, London. Wandsworth? I don't know. Yeah, just down the road. What football team do you support? I'm American. Manchester United, who else? <laughs> <laughs> and you play football yourself, Christoph? Yes. Yep, certainly do. Team. Play for a deaf team in Surbiton. Surbiton? Yeah. Oh, posh. <laughs> yeah, that's posh. You got that? Yeah, got that. <laughs> yeah it's good. And you, I believe you play snooker as well? Yes, I do. So, okay for the trick shot if the questions go wrong? Well, well might be, we'll see. Yeah, fingers crossed. Okay, Sebastian, John, you're going to stick with me and help me out then? Stick with you, I'll try to. Oh, I promise to try and learn some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Red ball, John. Well, it's always nice to have him back on big break. Would you please welcome Terry Griffiths? I'm feeling great, thanks. You're you going to keep that on? Yeah, I'm going to hairbrush on you, be any chance of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go near hairbrushes anymore. I keep pulling all the good ones out, leaving all the grey ones in. Here we go. It's time to play Red Hot. <laughs> I think we all know it now, but just in case you are from another planet and are watching for the first time, it's 10 seconds free for each player, 10 seconds for each correct answer making a maximum of 40 seconds in our first game, which is called Red Hot. And these are quite simple questions. We're not here to win Mastermind. We're just here to make ourselves look absolutely stupid. <laughs> Tim, could be easy in your case. Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> Bouncer was the dog in which Australian soap opera? Neighbours. All together. Neighbours. Everybody needs good neighbours. <laughs> Christoph thinks we've gone mad now. <laughs> Which two different words that rhyme answer these clues? A two-letter word as in, yes, we have bananas. Remember that song? And the opposite of stop? Go and no. Go and no, correct. Yeah. Which two numbers answer these clues? Forwards, it is two times two times two, and backwards, it's two plus two plus two plus two. Eight, eight, eight. Well, we've got three eights. Two will do. You don't get any more for that. No. Fantastic. Maximum time. Toe cap. <laughs> okay, Circuit. I'd ask you to make your break as your first to go. You will set the standard. Hopefully, it's a good one. You have the maximum time, which will start the next time you strike the cue ball. And John, you better go through the words again, Joe Cat. The uh, the old uh, the rules. Pot as many balls as you can. <laughs> One. Two. Three. It's on a piece of string, that one. Fifteen there. seconds to go. 
four. Okay, you'll have time maybe for one more, so I'll make certain of it. Hit it now. Michelle, yeah. or as they say in Plumpty, Michelle. <laughs> Rowley was the dog in which British soap opera? EastEnders. EastEnders. Yeah. Which two different words that rhyme answer these clues? Not heavy and children's toy for flying in the air. Light and kite? Yeah, they're really hard, these questions, aren't they? <laughs> Be surprised, I want you up there, it's difficult. Okay? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Come on, give us your snooker wrap again. Come on. Come on, up again. Come on. Look, come on, let me hear this. Yeah. The, the, the big break rap. The big oh. break one you did for us. Come on. Yeah, yeah. come on. Right. Jim Davidson hosts this snooker quiz show with right hand man, Mr. Wakefield Johnny Virgo. Contestants have the question trying to win the big money. Jimmy D putting the players on, trying to crack the fun. Stevie Davis, Jimmy White, the man, Stephen Hendry. Terry Griffiths, Willie Thorne, and don't forget me. Everybody trying not to make a mistake. Light, camera, action, big break. Yeah. Oh! What a talented guy you are. Terrible snooker player, but great <laughs> rapper. <laughs> Which two numbers answer these clues? Forwards, it's one times two times three, and backwards, it's one plus two plus three. Um, six and six? Six and six, yeah. Away you go, round table. <laughs> okay, Lee. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right. You know, somebody's eye out with that. Five to beat. Box starts next time you strike the cue ball. Where are you from, Lee? Tain, near Oxford. Oh, Oxford. <laughs> Great fishing. I thought you might need the rest, but you're taking that one first, okay? We're off. Good start. One. Two. No emotion, please. <laughs> Three. Oh, have you got some for me? Oh, quick rest. Yeah, certainly. Let's get the rest, Jeffrey, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Still three. Quickly, you need two more to equal Shoka. We've got to get some Four. more, Jeffrey. Five. <laughs> Lee five. Richardson scores five. <laughs> Okay, Christoph. K9 was the dog in which British science fiction show? Doctor Who. Doctor Who? Who? Great. Doctor Who. Which two different words where only the initial letter changes answer these clues? Directions written for people to know what to do with your property after you die is called a... And at the end of a meal, you ask the waiter for your... Will? Will and Bill. Will and Bill, correct. Which two numbers answer these clues? Forwards, it's two plus three plus four. And backwards, it's three squared. Nine. Nine, correct. I've got that one. Nine. Perfect. <laughs> Teddy! You look a bit better now, Terry, without that <laughs> turban on. Thank you. Without the, what? The, the turban? Well, whatever it is. Is it a turban or a school cap or whatever? Bandana, it's called. Okay, Terry, Mind well... Mind if I get on with it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've just got to remind you, it is Terry, and it, there'll just be a blur going round the table now. <laughs> <laughs> you might not see a lot, but we'll try and repeat it in slow motion when you finish. <laughs> Five to beat, maximum time. <laughs> Okay, Terry? No, I'm not. Are you ready? Oh, oh sorry, right. <laughs> the clock's ready. We've just boiled an egg. <laughs> <sighs> what can I say? No problem. Okay. Just relax and take your time. Yeah. Oops, mate. Should have chalked my cue, should I? <laughs> you, didn't, you forgot to chalk your cue. Yeah, mate.
time you took, you could have made one. <laughs> okay. Two. Give me a shout in about an hour. <laughs> What's the news? Give me a good laugh all the time. Come on, Terry. Two. Three. What's the news? I have to be quick. That's right. Number one all the all. Four. I love it, Doc. Yeah, you've got five seconds. Oh, well, it's a part of this. Five. Hey, hey, quick, you might get through without... <laughs> Terry Griffiths scores five. <laughs> Okay, now it's a tie break. We've got five plays, five plays, five. And because of the obvious problems of speed there with Christoph, which he can't, I'm going to get the snooker players to do that. Now, we're going to get them to answer it. Hands on the buzzers, chaps. It's about darts. In darts, how many points is a bullseye worth? 50. 50. Correct answer. You're through. <laughs> this is a history question. Were you good at school? Oh. Were you good at school? Oh. This is a long time ago. <laughs> Which war leader's nickname was Il Duce? Mussolini. Mussolini, the correct answer, yes! Oh, Christoph and Terry, come down, come down. Okay, Christoph. Uh -huh. Never mind, you got five. Very good. Terry? Thanks, mate. Mussolini. Mussolini. He never went to school, he played snooker with Was he time. Welsh or Mussolini? No. Mussolini wasn't Welsh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Christoph. Good to see you. John, thank you very much. My pleasure, James. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. You've got to play trick shots. No. <laughs> <laughs> John, that's one of your best waistcoats. I can see Christoph wearing that. Yes, he can have this if he does this trick shot. OK, what we're going to do is to pop the pink without moving the red. It should work like this. Okay, Christoph, you win this fabulous prize. For tonight's trick shot winner, Jim, will express deliver this espresso coffee maker. Right hand side on the cue ball. Yeah, just off centre. There. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah! <laughs> Very good. Thank you. John? Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Let's play pocket money. Heads or tails, Michelle? Heads, please. It is a head. First or second? First. First. Okay then. Right, go and have a sit up there, Tim. Okay. It's okay. Now then, Michelle, you come up here and answer the question. You smack them about, man. <laughs> this way. <laughs> okay, Lee, this is the pocket money table. The numbers on them are the value in pounds. Keep your eyes open for the double pockets. Pop the 50 pound blue into the blue pocket. Indicated on the screen at home, it'll double up to 100 pounds. Wish you luck. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Okay, Michelle, if you don't know the answer, just say pass. Right. 90 seconds starts when you strike the cue ball. Best of luck. Oh, Miss Red. Which horse won the 1996 Grand National? Uh, no idea. It was Rough Quest. Here we oh. go. Which pop star was awarded the knighthood in June 1995? Um, Mick Jagger. Oh, Cliff oh, Richard! Yeah. <laughs> the Mick. Which European country spent 1995 testing weapons in the Pacific? Nuclear France. weapons? France. France, yeah. correct. Close. Okay. Let's get going here. Ten pounds. In 70, that's 80 pounds. Ninety pounds. Miss P. How many players in a basketball team? Five or seven? Five. Correct. Play. Carry on. Got ninety pounds. That's the one hundred pounds. Still got over thirty seconds to go. No. Need to rush too much. 
We've got a bit of a trick run. I know that much. Look, this shot. 70 pounds. That's 170 pounds. Miss Red. Which country won the 1995 Rugby World Cup? South Africa or New Zealand? South Africa. Correct. Good Carry game. on. 180 pounds. Did you know the answer to that? No. no. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Miss Black. Oh, Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt starred in Interview with a Walk. Vampire. Yes. Carry on. 190 Great pounds. Shot. Great shot. Lee Richardson scores 190 pounds. Go Okay, so you're up first time on big break. You've got through to the pocket money stage. There is 90 seconds, so you don't have to rush around, really, you know. Less days. Less ways. No, whatever it is, anyway. Make your break, please, so you're Good break. Tim, if you don't know the answer, just say pass. Okay. And John will answer them for you. <laughs> 190 pounds to beat. 10 pounds. And 70, that's 80 pounds. Ninety pounds. Good shot. Great shot. One hundred and sixty pounds. One ninety to beat. Remember. One seventy. This blacking in the final, but keep going. We want Tim to get as much money as we can. 240 pounds, you're in the final. Now, we've still got 30 seconds to go. Good shot, 250 pounds. 300 pounds. A star is full. Which American oh, comic actor was the star of Jumanji? Robin Williams. That's correct. Jumanji, Dread, Dread, Fly. Okay, Jordy go on, carry on. <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> Your goal is for 300 pounds! <laughs> oh, a big green there, look. It's okay. Well, I saw you sneak one in, but he didn't count that one. So 300 pounds out, winners there, a blue team, and we have to take the bike from Michelle with 190, oh, uh, yes. Don't forget you got your big break trophy. Yes, yeah, thank you. Are, you. Oh, you are. Oh, thanks, Billy. I bet your mum's glad she had you. <laughs> <laughs> it's final time now. <laughs> Madam, I'd like to teach you something. It's the first time you've done this. Now, I know this for a fact. From behind, not too hard. What's the idea of that, John? Well, we don't want the pink to come up at this end of the table. Hopefully, we'll get near the end and the pink will be near the black and it'll make it easier for you. Okay, off you go then. Shoot the break first before we do the question. Oh, that's a long one to start with. It's a tricky <coughs> first shot there, Tim, so the more questions you get right, the happier you're going to be, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, okay, five questions for you, five right answers, take five reds off, and win all this lot. Any reds left on the table tonight, Jim, and our winner can provide lots of healthy drinks from this electric juicer and sack full of oranges. Pop the yellow, they can also take away this selection of perfumes and aftershaves. Or if the green is clear, they can enjoy a picnic from this sumptuous food hamper. Travel north of the border for Downing the Brown to enjoy this Edinburgh weekend. While this combination of washing machine and dishwasher is theirs for putting the blue in the pocket. The latest technology on the move is the prize for sinking the pink to win this laptop computer, while potting the black wins the mystery star prize. Here we go. Good luck, Tim. Your time starts now. Who is the pilot of Thunderbird 2? Virgil. Correct. What is the first book of the New Testament? 
Okay. Hugh Pugh Barney McGrew were the firefighters where? Crumpton. Yes. Who is famed for saying Dr. Livingstone, I presume? Stanley. Yes. Name the last Tudor monarch. The Queen. Elizabeth. Correct. Stop the clock. I'll give you that. <laughs> All right, it was, it was in fact Elizabeth the first, but I'll give you that. Very Four. nervous up there. Four. 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 Okay. And a long shot. <coughs> well, this is the first time you've done this show, okay? I'm, I'm going to give you a tip here now, which I think you should do. I'm, I'm going to leave the two red, all right? Because there's going to be two reds. I'm going to take these yeah. away. You play the pot on this one slowly. You're going to cannon this red towards this pocket. It will help. Trust me. Okay? After each of the two reds, you must go for a colour. Tall order. Only got one minute, three seconds. Wish you the best of luck. Let's hope you can clear the table, win Tim the Mystery Star Prize, but do the best you can. We're all rooting for you. The clock starts when you strike the cue ball. I'd love it to go in. I'm not Come out. Okay. I was getting that question on the Bible wrong, you see. Okay. <laughs> All right, you've Matthew got to play the colour. You need to be on the red, though. That's good. That's a good shot. That is a good shot. There we go. You're on the prize. Okay. Relax. Just, ru just run off the blue now and get of down to that yellow. Okay. It's not easy. Just roll this one then. All right, it's okay. That's all okay, right. don't worry about the time. That'll just, uh, that'll right, just make you panic. And aftershave. Just concentrate on the balls. This you is for a food hamster. <laughs> you can't stop the clock. Might be shortcut. hamper. Just got to do the best you can. That's yes. well done. And now you've got time for the blue. This blue. Go on, it's quick. Oh, we didn't want the blue. The story goes there, the blue was a washing machine, yeah. right, and the brown was a weekend in Edinburgh, one of the greatest cities in the world. Oh, Edinburgh, yeah. fantastic, mate. Thanks for coming along and playing. Enjoyed yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Don't forget you've got 300 pounds, Tim, and you've also got your juicer and a sack of oranges and all that stuff. So, you know, it's not a waste of it. Enjoyed yourself? Lovely. Brilliant. Terrific. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. If you want a home to find out what our mystery star prize is and want a chance to win it, get ready at the end of the programme for a general knowledge question and a telephone number. So get a pen and paper and engage the old brain. And we'll say goodbye to this lot over here. Thank you, John. Thanks, Christoph. Thank you, Kerry. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Lee. Say goodnight, JV. Goodnight, JV. We'll see you next week on Big Break. To the show, mate. To win this week's Mystery Star Prize Holiday or one of three runners-up prizes of a Virgo waistcoat and bow tie, just answer this question. Who sang the original Great Balls of Fire? Was it A, Roy Orbison, B, Jerry Lee Lewis, or C, Chuck Berry? And ring this number, 0891 555 333. Lines are open for 48 hours to callers age 18 or above, and winners will be selected at random from the correct entries. So, good luck. It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm gonna be snickering you tonight. I'm playing for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm gonna be snickering you, snickering you tonight. Snickering you, snickering you tonight. Big fight! There's a pupil at large at Galford's High. Yes. What Gail Bennett has locked me in my office and taken the master key to the entire school. Teachers under siege.